All right, let's get ready for a Civilization VI a live stream. There we go. Camera's going. Yay. Um, I've been excited, to, looking forward to this uh, actually all week because I'm determined to figure Khmer out. We, I'm going to figure them out. Um, I mean, I'm making it a little bit harder myself with some specific desires that I have of how I want to play this. I want... I want to grow tall, so I want to make sure we have at least, uh, but I want at least six cities. I want six cities that we can grow tall with. I want lots of rivers so that we can put all of our holy sites next to them. Um, obviously, I want a religion that we can keep so that we can get the housing from the uh, religious buildings as well, as well as the food and all that kind of stuff. Those are probably the three of the key things. Uh, rivers, a religion we can keep, and at least six cities. Uh, we've been struggling with that a bit, so 
hopefully we have a good one here. Um, I decided to go with this start. I actually started a couple times while I was sitting here waiting just to see if I could find a, you know, a more fun, a more engaging start. I don't usually do that, but I was like, you know what? We've given this a couple tries already. Let's see if I can jump in here and find something. This isn't like necessarily the best start, but I stuck with it because it does have the river, obviously, which we have a river by, so I knew that was going to happen. It has the stone uh, that we can both chop just like a lumber, uh, but also put Stonehenge next to get us an early religion, right? But it also has elephants. And I was like, you know what? We got elephants. Elephants is going to be part of our religion. It's the It was the first start I found that had elephants. So I was like, you know what? Why not? We'll stick with it. Um, but I think that's going to be it's going to be good. So uh, how many restarts tonight? Uh, hopefully no more, Ian. Uh, and this will be the last night that I try Khmer. If it fails tonight, I'll just move on and I'll circle back to Khmer later. I have already beat the game as Khmer, so I'm not super worried about it, but uh, I would like to. I just I want, I got a specific, specific goals of how I want to play it. And it just keeps getting run by stupid AI and barbarians and everything in between. I'm just kidding. Um, but before I get further on, I do want to say thank you for anybody who's joining either live or on the VOD. And uh, any likes or comments or subscriptions or anything like that that helps the channel continue to grow is a much appreciative but uh, without further ado let's get into this we have no proof did i not show you guys no no you do you have you can go search my youtube channel Khmer, and there's proof that i've beaten it it's it's one of the videos i have on there or one of the series i have on there it's a very old series very very old series it's before uh it's before uh the newest expansion for um Civ 6 but yeah for sure no, no proof as far as the Hall of Fame is concerned. So I definitely want to get knocked on the Hall of Fame. All right, let's jump into this. I've talked too much. Uh, I mean, obviously, I've been sitting here staring at this for the last five minutes while I've waited for the stream to start. So uh, I think I've decided I'm going to settle on this Plains Hill tile up here uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's going to get me a three food tile right away. It's going to get me a little bit closer to this three production elephant tile, which is quite nice. And it's going to get me one tile further away from a volcano, which is, does not appear to be currently active. Uh, unless I'm just blind. Yeah, it's not currently active. But it could become active at some point. So I think, and obviously Plains Hills tiles are always um, really, really solid uh, settle spots because they give you a little bit extra production in your capital city from the get-go. Uh, it still leaves us room for a aqueduct, I believe. Some, yeah, I should have an aqueduct. And obviously, holy site, stuff like that. My only concern about this start is I only see this one river. And I'm a little concerned that if that's the only river we got, this could be a little bit awkward. Uh, I could move up here, but it's not really going to give us a ton of vision because of all the other hills. I'm actually going to move over here and see what else is down this way. Uh, I mean, a couple Plains uh, Hill Woods tiles, which are very good for production. Yep, I think we're going to go Plains Hill style. Where it's going to cost us a move, but again, getting to the three food right away and the two production, it's going to make up for that, I think, pretty pretty quickly now we won't have a lot of farms up here we'll have to put the farms down this way that's okay we could put a holy site down in this area and put farms around it and then of course the aqueduct as well could have farms something of that nature see that's why i didn't have five seconds ago before i moved up here <laughs> i mean i thought i might have seen a little hint of snow i wasn't gonna judge it too harshly just yet i thought we were seeing a little bit of snow um I mean, it does limit our ability to uh, settle northward a bit. Uh, we have diamonds, though. That's pretty cool. Um, but it also means that there's, you know, they're not going to be any uh, AI up here. Like, another, another civilization up here should have a lot of barbarians coming from the north. But civilization otherwise, not such a big deal. But let's... Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm okay that we moved. Oh, uh, did we get another continent already? Is this... Two separate continents? No, surely not. No, I just it just discovered the continent we're sitting on. For some reason, I don't remember that message popping up before. All right, we're gonna go ahead and settle in this spot here, and it'll get us, like I said, close to the elephants, which is gonna be good. And now, technically, the diamonds are in range, which is awesome. You're gonna go ahead and move up there. We do have somebody here. That's city state, right? Single dotted line borders. Uh, so it should be a holy or a uh, faith-based city state. Oh, you've seen the series. Okay. I appreciate it. Then, wow, you've actually seen that series? That's an adult one. So, wow, that's awesome. No, I'm, I've given myself a hard time about this, too. I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble with Khmer. 
Uh, it's just been a been a bit of a nightmare. Uh, we're gonna move our way up to astrology so we can get Stonehenge. Hopefully, we can find a natural wonder here pretty soon. We're also gonna get us a yeah. Oh, one thing I did change. I did change one thing. I made the world bigger. We're on a large map instead of a standard map, so we do have more people. But hopefully, there's also a little bit more space to spread out a little bit as well. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, so we're technically on a with 10, 10 civilizations as well. Other than that, everything else is the exact same as it has been for the last few few runs. I guess we'll go up on the hill first and just kind of come around this way. We'll find them soon enough. I don't have to rush it. Uh, I do want to make sure I am working the food, though, which we are good. Chinguetti. 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 What do they have? International domestic traders receive plus one faith for each every follower in the city of your founded or majority religion. Ah, good way to get some more faith. Obviously, faith is going to be good for... We're going for a culture victory, I think, is, is, is the whole plan of all of this. Is to ultimately go for a culture victory, I believe. Try to spin those holy sites into um, good tourism places, right? Get the, get to those 20 pop cities and get that free tourism from the uh, from that. Bigger world doesn't mean more barbarians. You are correct. That is true. But, uh, and I thought about turning barbarians off just to save my sanity, but I was like, nope, I'm going to, I'm going to get it figured out. We're going to, we're going to make it work. I know we have a goodie hut up there. I'm just trying to get, I'm going to let that scout do that here in a moment. Honey over here is interesting. Uh, we're going to swing around here south of Chinguetti and uh, circle back to our own city here at this point. I mean... Some fertile land down here. Oh. Interesting. I mean, that's a lot of space that we don't have to worry about barbarians coming from as long as we've got vision up here. And we've got literally a wall <laughs> around our city right now. A little unexpected. Um, what do I want to build next? I mean, we're going to go for a slinger. We know there's going to be barbarians. We've got to protect ourselves. It's nice to get the science boost if we can get a kill. Okay. I mean, it's really fertile down here. Oh, wait. Nope. Oh my goodness. Why do we have so many AI so close to us? I figured on the bigger map. I mean, I know with more people, I could have I could have reduced it down to eight and left it on a large size map so we'd definitely have more space. But we definitely have somebody a bit closer than I'd like. Because we're blocked in, so all they have to do is forward set a lesson and we're in trouble, which is not fun. A second recon unit? Really? Oh, we are definitely blocked in. Wow, this is... This is... <laughs> um, uh, I mean, it's safe, but we got to get out and settle some land because we are completely blocked up here. Hmm, Sweden. I don't think I've had Sweden in the game in a while. Can you just go settle settle south south or west or somewhere not north? Do not come north to settle. I realize you probably have code that says find the u computer the, the the user player or sorry the player civilization. I can't talk. Find the player. And settle near them to annoy the crud out of them. I'm sure that's somewhere in the code. It's probably not in the code, but it's what it feels like. I mean, as soon as we get our Dom raised, we could always attack her. Uh, she doesn't get her stuff until a bit later, right? Which is... Carolians. Oh, that's right. Renaissance. Actually, she'll have those around the same time that we'll have our Domries. Our Domries are the era before, right? Medieval. So there, there's going to be some overlap there for sure. Yeah, this is not good. We actually, we still have no space. I can I I'm I'm I can see five city spots maybe right now. But 
Oh, I might be able to squeeze in two here, and one of them's not going to be great. It's not going to be near a river, which is not what we want. Uh, I could put one over here that could get a holy site next to a river. Technically. Still not great. I could put definitely put one here, obviously. That, that's an obvious spot. We are very blocked in here. This is not... Why, Gabe? Why? Why do you have to do this to me? Is it really that hard to give me just one thing that I want? I mean, the only other option is to go to war against her. And I was really kind of looking forward to not... Because I did war in the first Khmer, and I was trying to, like, avoid war here. Oh, I guess... I guess we'll finish researching astrology. I do want to get... St we got stone. I want to get Stonehenge. Wait, where's the barbarian camera that just popped up? Oh, over there. Okay. I mean, there's definitely a couple decent city spots here, right along this river. But I know for a fact she will be going for those in a moment. All right about that. <laughs> Almost for a second there. All right, Slinger. Um, I guess. Do we bother coming over here? I guess we'll come over here. Deal with this. Oh, can you really... Why can't you just go through there? There must be something blocking there that we just can't see. All right, warrior, just come back over here as well. We're going to just deal with this barbarian encampment real quick. Alrighty, I guess we're going to go for a... I want to go for a settler, but a builder might be just as good. Let's go for that. We got to get our cities out as soon as possible. I know it's going to mean we're going to be light on the defense, which is not great. Uh, okay, change of plans. You're going to come up here. Uh, Barbarian, you're going to come up there as well. Of course, the one little avenue that we've got uh, that's not completely covered by walls or cliffs is going to be the where, where the Barbarians are going to come through. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get those cities going. Um, how many can we pack in here that can still have access to the river. I mean, we could put one here. It won't have an aqueduct, but it would still at least have a holy, you know, holy site next to the river. So maybe something like there. And then I know that if I put these tacks down, she's going to see them and, <laughs> and start settling. There. Um, one, two, three, four. So we could put another one here. Or we settle up on the copper. It's a little bit of a stretch, but we could still get a um, holy site next to the river and actually fit three cities here. It is, it is tight. Because if we put a city here... Then we could put another one on the coast. Not ideal. We'd be settling on stone, but at least again, it still has a holy site next to the river. It's not, I'm kind of fitting them in just to fit more cities and less about where I would actually like to put them. Because truth be told, if, if I knew I had more space, at most I would want to put two cities here. So fitting three cities is a little bit annoying, but we can definitely make it work, especially if it's not what I want. Um, Especially if we can get down and steal this rice from Cardiff somehow. Which we wouldn't be able to do unless we got a culture bomb. Because we're not going to put a holy site here. Oh, you go away. Did not mean to put you there, my friend. So we're going to put one... I guess we'll say stone. I don't like it, but... It's the only way we can fit another one here. And then this one has to move up to uh, the copper, most likely. We move up any further than that, one, two, three, it will not be able to get to the river. It's a stretch, but it is the only way I see to fit three cities here. And again, six is my goal. Oh, I keep making the wrong thing. Um, six is my goal. So then we have those three, and then we can technically fit two down here for sure, right? One, two, three, four, so like something over here. It's going to have some loyalty issues, 
we might want to forward settle this one first so we can kind of back settle to that yeah like literally this one right here would probably be the one I would want to forward settle And then last but not least, that would give me five. Can I fit one more in here that has access to the river? Again, technically that one could, and I might still consider that. But um, I wish I could leave this on. I just hate that it keeps going away. <laughs> um, yeah, anything over here is going to be able to have access to the river, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Maybe right next to the volcano. We get a little bit of error score. We could put an aqueduct, and we have actually a couple of different rivers we can get access to. So that something like that might work. It's not the most ideal, again, but we can make that work. All right, so that's six cities. And again, technically, we could do that one if we needed to, but I'll leave that one as like a backup plan. Not the most ideal, and I think the first city has to be this one. We've got to forward settle her, which is not, which is dangerous, right? That's very, very dangerous. But it is what it is. Um, I mean, yeah, Scout just beat up on him a little bit. Oh, I guess I should have put that in there first. Oh, well. Okay, we'll run away. I mean, settling the city without a governor available is going to be a bit scary as well. Of course, she denounces me. So she's definitely going to be coming to war against us. Come on, AI, do something. Do something unique for once. Well, let's prepare for the inevitable. Oh, of course there's barbarians right there. All right, we're going to assume... We're actually going to ignore those up there for now. It's not ideal, but... And they're going to be spawning because I think the scout saw us. Actually, I don't know if the scout saw our city or not. I know it saw um, my scout, of course, but I don't know if it actually saw the city. But this one's definitely going to see us here in any moment. Yep, there it is. Hello, Scout. Um, we got a lot of hills floating about. Uh, how about you get up on top of the hill and just tank out from there for a couple of cycles until we figure out what we're going to do with this dude. You're sneaking over. You're coming around, I guess. Scout, you can come bop this dude a little bit just to put some pressure on him. Uh, Pantheon, we want... River Goddess. All right, Scott, you're going to come back up here and escort this settler down in a moment. I was like, how did we take damage over here from the spearmen? Uh, it was the flood. A bit annoying, but whatever. Fond of pigs.
I'm just gonna settle hit stop here for a second. Why are you you're just you're just spying on me, aren't you? You're just sitting here chilling, spying on me, being rude. Uh we'll do hills with you as well. Uh let's start working towards archery. I'm hoping we can get the kill with the archer or the slinger here in a second. All right, actually, you're going to come over here and help escort the settler, who I guess is going to come this direction, away from the slinger. All right, if we attack with you first, yeah, we'll get you low enough, and then we can get the kill. Doesn't mean we get, we don't get the capture, but unless you can move, yeah, you can. Uh, that'll work. Gets a little bit of gold, everything else, good, good, good. Can we get us a builder? We can go ahead and get us a builder, uh, and I think we will buy us a builder. So I think we're going to have to build more military units right now. I mean, we do have Stonehenge still, and I would love to get Stonehenge, but let's get us another, let's get us another warrior first. It's minus eight now. Oof. I mean, the good news is we'll grow pretty quickly. Um, so that helps a little bit. Mm, I mean, this one's obviously got more food, but I think we go for the, uh, production. Well, you're working food right now, because I did tell you to focus on food. All right, fine. We'll come over here first. Proof three tiles. We're going to work on that. So let's go ahead and come over here to foreign trade. Oh, is it minus 12 now? Wow. She's growing pretty fast. So even with a uh, governor, we would we would struggle. Hmm. When do we get our first governor? It's pretty, pretty far away, isn't it? That's over here, these two. So we're not there yet. I mean, as much as I want to settle here, maybe we have to settle here first and work our way out, or, or literally where we're at, and work our way down. It means she, I guarantee that she's going to get this spot. I know that's exactly what that means. But and once the city gets put in, it's going to grow very fast and it'll give us the loyalty that we need to uh, ensure that we have the city. But I think we do have to build here. Not quite what I wanted. I'll look another barbarian encampment. But it pushes the, the loyalty down that way. Production is, well, it's a little bit to start off with. Not much. Actually, I don't think it's updated. Has it? I guess it has. It's got the top. It's not working this tile. That's what it is. It's working the food tile, which makes sense. Hello, barbarians. Did you just go away, <laughs> please? <laughs> You're annoying me. Uh, farms on a resource would be pretty good. Also, we could set this up and trade with her. Uh, let's come down here. It's, I feel a little bit unsafe about sticking a worker out there unescorted. I mean, if it was his last charge, I wouldn't care, but since he's got an extra charge, I want to be careful. All right, you're going to come down here, uh, help deal with this barbarian camp, I suppose. All right, you're going to have to go probably right into another settler, honestly. And we might have, need to, well, we don't want to focus purely on, we still need to grow. I've got to keep pumping out settlers, like kind of flip flop between settlers and military units right now. As soon as this guy grows, he'll be able to work. Yeah, he is right now. Good. Perfect. Two 
Two turns on our archer. I didn't actually expect you to kill him. All right, irrigation. Yeah, you're going to die now because you, you're supposed to leave him with a sliver of health and not move. May the forces oh, he'd actually come out and kill us. Yay. Uh, I guess we'll duck the slinger back for a second to get it turned into an archer because an archer, obviously. Massive, massive boost here. Um, yeah, let's just move you back onto the hill and heal you up for a few ticks. Um, actually, a farm here would be really good because it's going to be able to work, get lots of food, and get a tick up production as well. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I'd like to see where iron is. Iron might be the thing that saves us here because I have a feeling war is in our future. All right, let's improve three tiles. Let's go finish that off. If we somehow get this city, then I think we can backfill fine. Wait, did I put that in the wrong spot? Did I count wrong? One, two, three, four. Uh, I did count wrong, but it's okay. We still have a spot here. Yeah, it's fine. I just, I counted wrong. I just put it in the wrong spot. But, or put the tack in the wrong spot, maybe is all I did. So this tack goes there. It's possible I was counting from one other one we were going over here for, but it doesn't matter. Oh, look, you're coming to kill me. Without craftsmanship. No big surprise there. Um... Production in all our cities, yes, please, because that's going to help both of them start producing stuff. And probably this one over the barbarian stuff. We know she's coming for us right now. I mean, we do. Maybe I should have waited till I killed this unit before we did that, but that's all right. We'll get the unit killed. We'll get some gold, get some error score. You're going to duck into the city because she is coming and I don't want to die immediately. You probably need to wait i'm gonna put you over here on this hill just to kind of get some vision to prove that she's still coming for sure down that way as well um let's work on state workforce a little bit we'd love to get the governor if we could if we get a second archer i think we're fine to defend against her here I'm actually going to heal you guys in spot just so you get a little bit of a heal here. I know it's going to leave you away from the city, but we'll bring you back to help a little bit, maybe. Seven turns on an archer. She's about to attack. It's coming. Oh, she's going to go for the capital first. That's smart. Fair enough. Put the scout here, she might bait the archer to help kill it, which will buy me like a turn. So we'll do it the scout there. Um, same kind of deal with putting the scout here. She might bait the slinger away to kind of try to kill the scouts instead of attacking the city right away. She didn't go anywhere. So I'm going to take the opportunity to heal one tick in place. Put you in the city. Oh, 
Wait. Sweden declared war on me? I wasn't expecting that. When you find yourself in a hole. How did that happen? Oh look. <laughs> it did exactly. Oh my the AI is so predictable. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm like, I'm gonna leave the scout here so it takes a hit of something, and so we save our cities a little bit. What happened? I left it. She attacked the scout. I mean, oh, the AI is so predictable. I don't know here. Archer's just the most annoying part here. Uh, now you can run away. You did your job. Yeah, could you take another hit and like, but you're gonna, you're definitely gonna die now. So we're just gonna tuck you out of here. You did what I need you to do. Uh, if I leave you here, you attack and then you attack and you kill me. So most likely I can move here and those two attack and kill me. Okay. Uh, I could tuck behind the forest and only get hit by one. And then I can move you into the forest up here and kind of start moving your way. Uh, you're going to hit by the slinger, but that's okay. Um, we might be able to do something with that. I forgot the slinger was sitting over there. Mm. She did catch us out a little bit here with our warriors going after that barbarian encampment. But if we hadn't gone for the barbarian encampment, things would have been significantly worse. All right, so that guy's dead. This guy we might be able to save, but it's, he's going to be saved in a way that is not helpful. Does Battlecry help us here? Battlecry... Well, yeah, only one thing can... Oh, that's Grassland, never mind. Both of them can attack me, but I'll have a little bit of an advantage from the uh, extra combat strength, so they should not be able to kill me. It's just you. How did you not get your promotion? I guess you weren't the one that took the uh, encampment. I mean, part of me just says do as much damage as you can and just be happy with that. I can move the archer up to help kill this guy a little bit. Does weak uh actually here's what we do. Um Scout. Can you kill it? Who wins this? It's a stalemate. So do we both die? Like we don't both die. Somebody wins, right? Somebody wins the roll. The best thing that could happen is if I do this and kill the archer, then the scout can come in here and block the slinger for me so that the warrior can get away. Now, if I don't kill the archer, but the problem is the scout could also definitely kill the archer, right? The scout can move down, taking a hit, and then the warrior for sure can kill the archer, but then the slinger can kill the warrior. I think we have to take this and hope that we win the stalemate. I actually don't know who wins the stalemate. Apparently the archer does. I wonder if it's 50-50. I actually don't know. I've, I've never... I've, I don't run into very many stalemates, to be honest. Okay. You go back in the city, get healed. You... I guess you're just going to run away at this point. Go hide in the forest and do whatever you do. You can come out here and... Mm, yeah, we'll take the hit. I'm going to start moving you towards our cities, but like through defensive terrain. Because we know she's going to attack us, right? So but if we stay in defensive terrain, at least she'll take more damage. Two turns on our other archer. I mean, that'll help a lot. We have lost more than she has at the moment, mostly, but, well, that's not entirely true because obviously an archer is very strong, even though it doesn't count for much um, military strength. So the fact that we killed her archer is, is something. Could bop that guy. Honestly, I'm not sure how helpful that is. Really? I think I'm just going to let you... 
chill for a turn. Get a little bit of healing here. You're going to take your promotion now. You just... Uh, you can heal up on the inside the territory, on the back side there. You're healing up there, that's fine. We're about to get a settler. We can find a way to get it through here and get a city uh, where this warrior's at. That would be amazing. Uh, we are about to have another archer, which could help. I wasn't really worried about that warrior killing our city, because obviously it's going to kill itself against our city. Alright, so protect the war our archer that's got a promotion. We'll move you out to take a shot against this warrior. Um, I don't know if we kill you right now, though. Because that moves me off the defensive terrain that I want to be on. Settler starts cutting out here, I think. Trying to make its way down. I move the archer out here. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's just move you into the woods here. We'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Alrighty. Hundred sixty gold to get a warrior, which we probably will need to do. Honestly, a third archer would get us a boost for an uh, inspiration. So let's do that here. You. You know what? We do need another. Well, we're gonna get. A, we're gonna buy a warrior. So we'll just get a couple archers, more archers, and we'll get buy another warrior. Help give us a little bit more of a upfront something or another. Slinger's going to come down and shoot the warrior, but nothing else should be able to kill it. They have a lot of horses. Or whatever that's worth. And then these archers, once they have another turn, these two guys are dead, obviously. This guy's probably going to attack the city. He might run away. If he runs away, that's fine. If he attacks the city, it's fine. Either way. Troopy Toad, we could... No, we're not going to... Obviously, we can do that attack. Never mind. If he had a little bit more health, we definitely could take that attack. I think the Slinger is going to be annoying, but... I was going to say, unless there's an archer nearby. I was literally about to say, unless there's an archer nearby. Which there was. Alright, we kill the two warriors so that this warrior can run away. Uh, or do we? Oh, I, I didn't mean to actually click that. I was going to stop that so that I can move the warrior to attack him. And then move this archer up to kill the slinger, but that's okay. Uh, you're going to move down here. Again, trying to make her way down to this way. Uh, if you move here, the warrior cannot get you across the river. But that's not really any different than here, because I would probably just move to this tile next either way. So we'll play just, we'll, we'll guarantee the safety. You need to run away. Get back to the city. And we should be okay. Now, the warrior just took a promotion, which is annoying, but he's going to try to attack the city again, I'm assuming. And probably take some damage here. I mean, of course he's taking damage. What I mean is, like, take more damage than is sustainable. Uh, let's try to get you... up into the city if we can. That other archer's probably going to try and sneak up there and attack my capital, is my guess. Let's make this slow. Okay, nothing there. Archer there. Just going to give him a shot. I think we have to accept that. Alright, scout. Um, let's just tuck out here. Archer just finished him off. I mean, part of me wants to move the scout in an area that I know the archer's going to come and shoot him. So I'm actually going to move it here. Maybe we bait the archer north. If we do, that's fine, because our other archer will be able to deal with it. At the moment, we have the same military strength as her. Again, hard to judge entirely just based on uh, other things. Okay, let's start working on another settler. I feel like we got enough military units to at least defend what we know she has. And uh, I got another archer coming out. Oh, and we're going to buy the warrior somewhere. Oh, I guess we can buy it here. 
So, two melees, four range soon. Also, the two scouts, which are, you know, not nothing. Okay, so you did attack here. Not a huge surprise on that one. I'm also interested. All right, you're going to move to there. Um, nothing can hit the scout that I or the settler that I can see. So we're going to move you up, take a shot. We're going to move you up, take a shot. Can we move you up, take a shot? We can move you up, take a shot. All right, finish off the archer. Scouts. For now, just chill. I, I don't really want to take you anywhere. Just actually, you're gonna come down this way. We might need you for something down here. Warrior, you can actually just. Mm, let's go ahead and put you in the city, just to be safe. Get you healed up there. This warrior can move out here in a moment. If we get this settle, and well, we still have this one we want, obviously, but let's get this a little bit of a triangle. Uh, state workforce will move off of. I mean, we do want the governor, but that's fine. Don't think we're going to find us a second continent, so I guess we'll just finish that one. Uh, we'll go for free inquiry. That's usually what I can get early game most most easily. And I'm assuming oh, we do have iron. Hmm. So the city that we were thinking about not being that great over here, but still technically could work, could get to that iron. And we'd probably just settle here so we can get the holy site to there. And we can still get an aqueduct up here as well. I don't think I want to do that with... Well, do I want to do that? I might do that with a settle. We'll see. Let me just put another tack over there just so I can think about that a little bit. The city, one, two, three. I mean, it can get a holy site over here. Most likely we're going to try to get a holy site up north, though. Around the mountain. All right, so if we are going to have swordmen, I mean, if have iron, we, you know, available at some point, swordmen are obviously going to be pretty critical. Let's go for masonry. We should be able to get us a quarry. In fact, we, should, we can get us a quarry now. Still don't have the religion. I'm quite disappointed about that, actually. Just haven't been able to stop doing anything long enough to get us a religion. Maybe after this archer, we can start working on something that will get us a religion. Now, uh, one second. What was the loyalty loss here? Oh, none. Okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, your holy site, we want to be somewhere else. Maybe a monument just to get some loyalty and some culture pushing out a little bit early on. Or, you know, we need a builder to get stone. Guess we'll work on the builder. Don't really have a way to rush anything right now. Don't think we're covering, discovering a second content, so we'll finish foreign trade straight up. Oh, hey, you built some inch. Congratulations. Like, you actually finished it? Okay, fair enough. That's how you get Protestantism, apparently. So we gotta get a holy site. Hmm. I mean, no one else is really drastically pushing towards it besides her. So that's good. So if we just get us a holy site, that's gonna be fine. Just here on this hill, kind of get a little bit of vision over here. Nothing to see. I mean, we can go try and take this city down here and just put some pressure on here. And I think that's probably exactly what we're going to do at this point. I 
oh, are we at war with you by any chance? We are not good. I was like, I just thought about that. I was like, wait a minute. If we're at war with you, that's going to be awkward. Right, Archer's down here. So yeah, we got, we got some, we got some stuff. Not a lot of upfront stuff, but stuff. I'm willing to sacrifice these scouts to do a little bit of, well, scouting. <laughs> uh, I think Holy Sight is necessary. We've got to get a religion going. Um, hmm. I don't know if it really matters. I mean, we want it to be surrounded by farms and things. So, I mean, right here, it's already going to have two farms next to it, which will give us some extra faith right away. Um, over here would have actually a lot of farms. That's going to have two wheat farms and a rice farm, and we'll put another one somewhere. That is better, but we don't have that tile yet. Hmm. Alternatively, we can make that spot be like that city or that city's thing, so that would actually be okay as well. Put it here. We're going to have two farms there. I actually think just here is fine. And then if there's another holy site there, they'll get a little bit of adjacency as well. Yeah, we'll make it work there. I could see an argument for several places being decent there, but that's going to be okay. Did you just settle a new city right there? Or, did I, or is that border growth or something? Uh, let's move you down. Take your promotion. I guess we'll go incendiaries so we can get... Or go garrison so we can get incendiaries. It's not as good for, like, obviously taking out units and stuff, but it is something. Tempted to sit in this woods tile and bait you, but you'd probably kill me from there. So let's just, just fortify where we're at. You're going to run away. You did your little scouting job. Got us a little bit of vision. You'll run away, get healed up. No sense in losing you right now. I mean, we're going to get a court at some point, so we're going to try and move off masonry for a moment. Um, I don't know. Um, I need to get the iron mine down. Can I get all this stuff? I mean, I can start working on iron working. We know we're going to want to get it eventually. We just got to get something over there. Of course, that scout's there. We're probably going to run this scout up, get it healed up, and help it escort the city over there if we're going to do that. That's the positive aspect of trade. Early Empire for sure. We are working on a district already, so we'll get the other one as well. That's once that gets done. I mean we have way more military strength than her right now, so her little war better for us than her at the moment. If we play the smart. Okay, so the scout has seen us now, which is unfortunate, but we're too busy with other things. <laughs> nope. We're 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 putting pressure on you now, my dear. You have you have a scout. That is the extent of your military strength. So yeah, I don't think so.
Hopefully we build just farm next turn. Okay, all right, let's keep at it. Glad you attacked the scout instead of anything else that I cared about. Thank you. You can do it. There you go. You can do it. All right. Well, we definitely take the city next turn, assuming nothing else crazy goes on. Uh, yeah, we'll take the pillage. We can always repair that ourselves later if we need it. Arguably, I could have taken the city now if I hadn't killed this warrior, but uh, I doubt it, actually. He probably would not have had quite enough health to do that. Well, I'm glad you just got a heavy chariot in the city that we're about to take. That is, that is very convenient for me, because that means you're going to... Uh, Lose the heavy chariot here in a second. Uh, let's actually start with these guys in the back. Uh, promotions. Okay, you first. You second. Um, the two warriors can take it. And then, and the reason I wanted to do it that way is so that I can kill you with this with the archer here, and then you can take your promotion. All right, perfect. And I guess we'll go garrison so we get incendiaries. And then you need to effectively run away. Who did we just get at war with? City State, I'm guessing. Chingo Eddie. Of course we did. Of course we did. Uh, not a huge surprise, honestly. That's going to be... They're going to have more military strength than she does. That's just the way it works. Do I want to keep it or raise it? I mean, raising it, she hates us forever. But keeping it, there's no way we can keep the loyalty off, right? At least if we raise it, she has to fill this in before she fills this in. I mean, it's a great city spot for us in general. I do like the city, but we can't can't push back the loyalty. There's just no way. We're too far away. So it just becomes a neutral city later, which is going to spawn a couple units. It's going to annoy me. So unfortunately, because we can't keep it, we have to raise it. If the loyalty was closer to 10, I would consider keeping it because we will have a, a uh, governor here within four turns and we could we could have kept it then but 20 is too much i think we still refuse for now i don't feel super threatened by you i mean catapults are annoying they can actually do more surprisingly more damage than you would think Considering they're supposed to be just siege units, right? I'm going to move you back. Get one of these archers up in there. You guys are going to heal up a little bit. I mean, you're not going to heal much here, but a tick or two will be fine for now. You're going to get into the city to heal up. You are going to take your promotion. I really like unit attacks, but if we're going to be pushing some city attacks here, we might as well... Do that. You're going to get up here, get ready to escort this settler. Hopefully it's not too late. It's a little bit dangerous because Chinguete again, but we'll figure that out. Builder, I guess, come. Oh, yeah, come get a star stone. I mean, technically that stone would be better, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, go for that one then. It's a better tile. Damn it, she just took out a third of my archer's health right there. They sting a bit. Oh, you can't see anything, guys. Um, the other promotion. I think we'll take the promotion. All three of these archers should be able to shoot this thing next turn if it sticks around. I guess we'll take tortoise. Kind of plan for more for the city attacks than anything right now. I'd love to get out here and spot for you. Uh, which I guess we could do a little bit of spotting. That'll be safe for the settler to kind of do it on its own. That's fine, yeah. I expect her to pop something out here in a moment that I don't 
wasn't planning on and just kill all my units <laughs> or kill something big time like crossbowmen or something crazy but as of right now that should have been all of her military strength that she currently has that we know about there's stockholm it does have walls so this warrior's about to take some damage um that might be the extent of what we want to do uh i might see if i can stick around long enough to pillage a couple things maybe i hit the wrong button i want you to Fortify to hill. There we go. So we're going to get onto that spot. So we can kind of get a little bit more vision around here. Settler should be safe to do that run on its own. How bad's the loyalty right there? One. Okay. Because I'd love to get the iron, but I'd also just like to get this one done while she's gone. Like while she's kind of dealing with stuff. And then, um, like, if we could stay at war long enough to defend this spot, put a city there, then we can always backfill that city later. And I kind of like that. So, yeah, I think the plan is to back up, defend this spot, bring the settler down instead. Uh, because if we print, we're going to plan on piecing around here in a moment anyway, we don't need the iron as desperately, other than, of course, barbarians. So I think that is a good idea. Because once we get this city... These other three should be ours, in theory. Okay, we're going to refuse still. Um, Look back over the past with its changing empires. That... Um, settler building, we're going to do, we want more, well, we want the production. It's, it's, they're both really useful. Uh, we're not building any military units right this second. We are going to be dealing with some um, barbarians again very soon. We know that. So we're going to plug that one in for now. Um, do we dare see if we can come down here? Can we pillage that trade out? Yes. Technically, we could come take the city. Didn't have. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It does have walls. Or oh, it's building walls. It didn't have walls yet. Why do you have damage? Who are you at war with? You must be at war with somebody else. I mean, I would love to pillage the trade route, so I think we will do that for sure. Tempted to come down here and deal with this, but no, I think we're going to do is we're going to swing over, make sure no settler. I mean, there's no way she'd move a settler out here, is there? If you can survive one more hit, you can come here and get us a little bit of faith. It's not much, but it's something. Yeah, just come up here. You're going to you're going to heal for a tick there. That's fine. Or you're here. Just kind of move up a little bit. Just kind of keep an eye on this area. And here's the settler. So we're going to be we're going to move you down here. It's currently I think a minus two, but we can overcome a minus two fairly quickly, because we will have um, pretty good growth. My assumption is that we settle this, and eventually once we piece her out, she'll just come back here and deal with this one. Does oh I just realized is Stonehenge lost and gone forever now? <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. I've never pillaged a city that had a wonder before. Stonehenge is lost and gone forever though, isn't it? Oh, that's funny. Speaking of Stonehenge, there's another religion gone. Oh, oh we're, we're in trouble. We're never going to get a religion. Never going to get a religion. That's unfortunate. Man, that really runs an entire area of the game that I wanted to play. I'm really bummed by that. put a couple cycles into mysticism just because we're about to get state workforce on its own and then we'll move up and do the other thing instead i'm really bummed about not getting religion oh never mind well you got part of what i wanted you just don't have the other part still i might just allow you to make me Protestant so I can get the food and housing. I mean, the meeting house is a great building. Don't get me wrong. But I wanted the one that also had the food. So maybe we don't need our own religion. I mean, I'm going to keep pushing settlers out. Let's get the rest of this stuff down. Oh, 
always is a toughie because Victor would help with some things, but Victor's garrison commander really helps with a lot of this, what we're doing with right now. But obviously everybody else has other amazing things. I had been going for uh, provision, but honestly, we're probably not going to wait long enough to get provision. We're going to get the last couple settlers before we see them becomes a thing, I think. And our city's going to grow fast enough to make up that population on their own without too much trouble. Obviously, Pengala is always a good one. I'm a little worried about the loyalty. Uh, it becomes kind of a wasted one if it if it doesn't turn out that way, but... Troopy don't have to point him right now. Actually, you know what? We're gonna... Normally, I forget about these. Now I didn't forget about it, but in retrospect, it actually is okay for me just to sit on it. Wait, we're with Cardiff now? Mexico City. Noise. All right. You could get some faith, but it's really not that much, and you're going to die if you do. So I think we get out of dodge. What can you get? Culture? Culture would be good. That's 10 turns of culture. Mysticism is the mystic. like the faith, but I think you die if I take the faith. Not like it's that much faith. Let's swap off iron working before I forget. Um, where's our builder? One turn away. <laughs> okay, I was like, where's our builder? Um, let's just backtrack for pottery for a couple cycles here. I think we back off, and we got the settler coming. We can back off, and, uh, Get this city spot. Then I think we're going to be pretty happy with that. Then we can piece her out and all is well with the world. We get Cardiff on our side. Why not? It's actually in a location that is, could help us out a little bit here just to make sure we're protecting this. Major drought. Strong economy begins with a strong, well -educated. I'm bummed about the religion. <laughs> I just can never get this game to go the way I want it to go. Which, it's it got to be that way. But it's just the early game. Really, it's just... It's like the first... 60 turns. I mean, if I don't go to war with her, then I build, you know, then I focus more on the holy sites and I get a religion. If I go to war with her, you know, other things happen. So it's just, it is one of those things. I feel like I've had games where I wasn't this, um, I didn't have this much of a checklist, but I could have got, I, but I still got all those things done, right? I got the religion and I got, you know, such and such down. I got all these things, you know, whatever. Because I wasn't really trying. It's when I'm trying that everything just goes wrong. <laughs> it's so weird. You, oh, you can't get any more culture. That would have been amazing. All right, let's start backing away. You guys are just going to stay over here on the edge of the river, I think. Until the settler can get down here. It's a minus one now. It's not bad. We're going to hook that up. Gets us the Cory boost. Need to finish that off, though. Alrighty, man. So we do want Protestantism, because it's going to give us the housing and the food. Even though it doesn't have us the other thing. We actually want to trade. Be nice with her. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Did we get rid of her? Oh, no. Did we destroy her holy city? <laughs> so we even lost the prod. Oh no, we do have. We're the only people that has Protestants right now. Is that true? Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to protect someone else's religion in our territory because it might be the only place that religion actually exists. That is a weird twist and kind of funny. Now we're getting pressure from somewhere. So this somebody somewhere down here has to have it, right? Yeah, somebody's got it. We just, I don't know where, because he's obviously not these two. It's got to be somewhere down here. 
because we're definitely getting pressure. We got plus four per turn pressure right now. All right, let's get the shrine down. Um, you're still just chilling. I mean, I could move up here and get some vision, but let's not let's not poke the hornet's nest right now. We do have two governor titles now, which means I could. Again, the loyalty thing. I mean, if that immediately gets me the, the loyalty if I need it. If I don't need it, then I'm going to wait till we settle the city, and then we'll see what the situation looks like. Uh, not yet. As soon as we get the city down, we will peace you out. I just want to make sure we can kill kill your settler if it comes up here. Could also go ahead and settle the city here. Once we get this city here, the loyalty pressure here will obviously be significantly less. But not quite yet. Especially since that's her capital. The fact that that's her capital and we're going to have a city here, she's going to hate us forever. <laughs> and the fact that we pillage her city. Let's push up towards riding for right now. Okay, now what? More farms around this will get us more faith for whatever that's worth. Although I think eventually we might do something else with that. Ah, uh, horses. We could tr either trade away horses or do some, or, you know, get our own units. That might not be a bad move. I thought Clay must feel happy. All right, scout. Go, go, go! Be a scouting. Ah, barbarian came in right there. Uh, okay, so you're actually gonna start pivoting away to go after that. I think probably gonna need two archers to go help. So you're gonna go up there. You're gonna kind of move up. We'll move you back up this way. We've almost got a spot where we can get the settler down. Right, we're, we're what three turns away. So we'll uh, we'll be able to piece her out here in a moment. I mean, I can move here and at least taunt him to come attack me. All right, one more turn and then we can... Oh, you just took a shot. And just settle, get there then. We get more horses, we get the rice. Get the rice because loyalty is going to be a problem and getting more growth will help with that. I think we can start shifting everybody up at this point. I think it's unlikely that we have to worry about anything else since we're about to settle the city and then we're done. We don't care anymore after that. Um... Now we can work our way up to put the holy site there like by buying a couple tiles, right? And like shifting tiles, I should say. For example, we can take you and say this is my tile, which then means I can holy site there for three. It's 100 gold, but it's a really good holy site. All right, one more turn. One more turn. Be patient. A drought is killing us. Oh, how long is the drought again? Five turns, boo. All right, let's go hook that up. City gets settled. It's minus two loyalty at the moment, which is not too bad. And I mean, I think we buy the elephants. Not amazing, but it's a luxury, right? I mean, it's, it's a terrible tile, but otherwise, nothing else really matters that much. Cool. All right, and then we can be sure up. Uh, let's take gold per turn. Let's take that. Okay, makes more equitable. Oh, okay, then. 
Hydra at 75 and 10 gold per turn for 30 turns, which is 375 gold. Now it's at uh, 450. Okay, that's more. Yeah, okay, we're good. Yep, I'm happy with this. We got what we wanted. And you just go, go be annoying somewhere else. Alrighty, uh, you... I mean, you're gonna need loyalty protection and things. I'm not super concerned about the... Uh, it's actually more loyalty than I expected. Any governor here would be helpful, though. But it doesn't have to be Victor. I mean, we could put, like, a Liang out there or something like that. Yeah, why not? Let's put Liang out there. We know Liang's always good. Do you think? I still think I want Pingala in our capital just to get a little bit of something from that. All right, we'll go with those two, and I think that'll be fine. Um, I'm going to put you like right there, maybe. I'm going to put you in the city. You're going to just kind of... I don't know, be out here somewhere. Might even put you on that wood tile. And scout, just go scout. We'll eventually put another archer here, but we're going to move these other archers up to help deal with the barbarians up here, because we know there's more up there as well. Sorry, I don't want to declare war in Cardiff. Feel free to bring me Protestantism. Actually, you already have some. Oh, so you, are, you actually have it as well. So again, she has to have it somewhere. Which is fine. It helps us out a little bit, I guess. Really feel like we need all three of these archers to deal with this garbage up here. All right, with your last build, I'd like to finish this. Go repair that in three turns. So we'll wait for that. You're going to move up. You're going to move up. It's a little bit slow up here, but we'll make it work. You're just going to alert here. All righty. Well, we're going to get seven cities potentially. So that's, that's, that's workable. And this should be able to grow. I mean, this one's already at seven pop. I mean, they're going to be able to grow. And it's not even got even half the stuff that it, they could use, right? So, yeah, they're definitely going to grow pretty pretty nicely once we really get everything running. Um, you're going to just kill the scout, get rid of it. Thousands have lived without. <sighs> of course you get a man-at-arms, because why wouldn't you? Most technologically advanced civilizations in the games. Barbarians. I mean, the sad thing is even a swordman is outclassed by that. Like, it's just, it's so ridiculous that barbarians could have man-at-arms. I mean, you do have some rice that can get boosted by the... Oh, we don't have a... The mill yet. I mean, there are technically still religions out there. Uh, let's get the granary. I want to keep growing. That's kind of the whole point of this is to grow tall. More men at arms because now you're the probably strongest military in the game right now. Because, you know, he doesn't love things that don't make sense.
Thank you for bringing your sword. Now they're mad at arms. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, um, thanks for bringing your swordman up to help a little bit, though, buddy. I guess if somebody ever asked me which civilization is best at uh, technological advancement, I will have to say the barbarians. Why does, like, why are we getting droughts here? Like, I've had droughts before, but I don't think I've had back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back droughts like that. That's really unusual and strange. Oh, you're going to come war with me again, aren't you? Of course you are. Well, I mean, I did just pillage your city, so... I guess I don't blame you too much. I would love to go settle this city, but that ain't happening. I guess we're going to settle this city over here. There's a trader real quick and then we'll figure out from there. If it wasn't for the uh, city seat over there, we'd be having a real tough time right now. They're actually helping quite a bit this time. I mean, three food, three faith is awesome. We don't get any more housing from this, though, because that's, I think that was the other um, belief that we were hoping to get. Yeah, good war. That's what we wanted. Good war is combined with feed the world. Would have been perfect. Oh, well.
Hey, there's a uh, free cavalry unit up there. Um, I see. It might just be time to go for just whatever's gonna give us good gold here. Like Upsala or something. Does give us a good road through here as well. Double by that tile just so we could just make sure we have plenty of space here. I don't care about these as much. I'll go with that. All right, uh, trader's done. Oh, what else do we need to get here? I mean, obviously, more settlers, things like that, just to get these last couple cities out. Gotta deal with this thing somehow. I mean, eventually we're going to want to campus that. You don't have your holy site yet. So I suppose that could work. is the art of the possible. I think the housing and amenities is our best bet here. Protection all cities. Um, I mean, we're going to be putting a couple more settlers out, so I guess we'll plug that in. Uh, probably just two influence points. And then... Probably the... Barbarian bonus here. They will be able to get you uh, healed up. Maybe. Money. is being the all right let's see what else we got um well, we're not founding religion but we do need our prasats i guess we'll just do that the hard way What is going on with the droughts? It is not that life is I have like another drought in the same spot. No. Oh, it's over here. Like, what is going on with this spot of land? Like, it's, I don't know. It's unusual to have droughts that frequently, that often. Whatever. I like to get this city done over here. Get us our iron mine. What is done here? Commercial hubs would be good. As long as we're not taking up places for holy sites. So your holy site's there, your holy site's there, your holy site is over here. 
one of these two is going to be there. Yours is going to be just wherever next to you. So, yeah, this tile right here would be fine. Um, of course, it's also a good aqueduct space as well. And we just ignore the two gold bonus and just put it somewhere just okay. And uh, that way we can still save this for an aqueduct. Yeah, I think we ignore the two gold bonus. Oh, have a good night, Ian. Thank you. All right, if Envoy, we can get one here just to get a little something, I guess. I mean, we'll say us, even though we technically already have a culture bomb capable thing. We'll also say us here. Uh, am I going to put any points to anything? I mean, the only way we would care about is probably that one. So we'll put a couple points in there. Why not? I'm a player. Hey, it is us. I want to get rid of these stone piles because they're not actually that useful to us. <sighs> Go away, man at arms. Go away. Like, seriously. Oh, I hate the... Uh, uh, these <laughs> passion. Such intense passion. I hate this. suffers only because he takes seriously <sighs> it's my faith for whatever that's worth um we need to get some more still need to get the uh, settlers out so i'm gonna hold on to what we got and as soon as we get done with this shrine i think we'll get a settler out there all right one envoy is not gonna help us anywhere so we'll just sit on that Oh, look, it's a sword minute. It's so weak compared to everything else he's been throwing our way. Wow, we finally met our next person. <laughs> Crazy. I actually didn't think you could hit this guy. I miscounted, I guess. Alrighty, one envoy. I guess you're Riven. Can we be friends? Actually, I would trade 
cavalry with, or horses with you um, if you want. Something. Gold's better, worth more to me than horses right now. Should go there, please. You healed up. You heal up. Guess you move up there. Try to get a shot off here in a moment. Hey, we get our Prasad. We can also get a market. Um, we might hold on to this until we can get us a... Um, until we know we need, need the error score or something like that. Let's get the market. More trade outs are always good. Probably going to be a halfway decent campus spot. I mean, not amazing, but probably worth building. Oh, uh, no, that's our aqueduct spot. Never mind. Campus spot up here, though? Yes. All right, back to settlers. Get these last two settlers out, then we are done with that side of things, at least. Oh, wow. We're on an island all by ourselves with her. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, then, yeah, we've got it. We've got it. Well, since we got our Domries, we've got to go after her. we got to focus on science then. Get our Domries. Go after her. Clear her out of this island and just make this island ours. Okay. Well, that makes things a lot more clear. In that case, I might even pause the settler here. Let's get us your campus down as well. Let's just start focusing on the campus a bit more. Um, I mean, it's plus one, but it would give everything else plus one. So it actually becomes a... It, it's better than it looks because of the other adjacencies here. Although, I'd like to put farms next to the, to the, to the uh, holy site. So I guess we'll just stick it up here. Will we? Still got space over here to put farms if we really need them. Oh, you don't have a space to put your aqueduct. That might be your aqueduct spot. Yeah, if it even, I'm not sure if that's it. Okay, we're gonna put it up here. Then. Just to make sure, that'll be our two campuses, that's fine. Uh, improved TC resource, we'll figure that out here in a moment. Well, things definitely change now that we know we're on an island. Very strange island. I mean, I'd like to get the fish hooked up. That's uh, one, two. We'd have to buy out to these other ones. Let's get us a builder here, and then maybe we can buy out to some of those. Oh, oh, no. I want to pop off that. No. We are working on that. That's all right. We're probably going to have to finish one of those anyway, so it probably doesn't really matter which one we do. All right, so you basically explored everything at this point. Oh, look, I'm shocked. It's a uh, man at arms. I, I was not expecting that. Oh, crossbowman, of course. Plus three, holy sight, nice. But it's not next to the river because it's already got two farms next to it. I guess we'll put it here because we can still put a uh, aqueduct over here, I think. Oh, you're coming to attack me now? Of course you are. 
I'm able to be friends with you at least. She just bought some units, so she's definitely about to attack. How'd you survive? Not a surprise. One of these days, we're going to take a single barbarian encampment. Oh, my goodness. Most difficult campaign of the entire game. One barbarian encampment. Well, we're not going to get either. We're not going to get the construction one in time. So uh, it doesn't really matter which one we grab first because we're about to get I, I, either one of them would come up. So let's do construction, I guess. I'm actually surprised she hasn't attacked yet. <laughs> People who cannot find time for Gilgamesh, how's it going, buddy? Oh my goodness, man at arms, go away, please. I just want to get rid of this stupid thing. So, our point. Might be a place for a city up here. There's a little river. Um, yeah, maybe. It's going to be in the tundra, but it doesn't mean it can't work. Oh, I hate you so much. Barbarians, like, so, 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 so much. We don't want to kill the spearmen. We want it to stay in the in here so that we can um, so that this guy doesn't take its place, basically. Oh boy! All right. I heard got city eleven pop. Nice. I feel like we got, might want to get our Prasat here. Or walls. We haven't done walls. A wall somewhere. Okay, so he, he took that spot anyway. I wasn't sure if that was going to happen or not, but he did. Which makes this almost basically impossible to take with him in there because he can just kill us. 
All right. Well, we'll just have to just defend them when they come down, which is so annoying. Or actually, what we can do is find a way to get a settler here, but putting a bill, uh, a city there will obviously pop that automatically. Actually, left your little safe spot. Interesting. Stand our ground a little bit. Doesn't get us into get us into getting us killed. Um, end up getting us killed. Is what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, you're gonna go ahead and get a settler now. Skirmishes are rough too. Set your course by. So many things are waiting on this stupid iron mine over here. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting that. Of course, of course I was expecting that. While we're building, busy with barbarians. At least that one's cleared out now. Still one up here somewhere, but it's one less for now, I guess. Slight bit of progress. So now we get an extra envoy, we could uh, flip Chinguetti away from her. Uh, actually, who is this? That's Chinguetti. I was going to say it was Mexico City. We uh, There's a Mexico City one there, but... That one's pretty weak, so I'm not worried about it. The Shingoidi one's the one I'm worried about. Don't reinvent the wheel. Take your iron, I guess. Don't really care. Needs to be an abstain button like there is in Civ 5.
Oh, just lost the Chinguidi one. The taxpayer. That's someone who works for me. For now, all these are gonna be okay. To we'll keep around. I don't have six farm ship. I don't know why I didn't think you had. My brain was not thinking you had movement there for some reason. That was a little silly of me. I mean, she has like nothing left. She comes up here, declares war on me, and then she has nothing. Obviously, we can't send it out there by itself, but we'll see what we can do. Wait a minute, we're still at war with you? Oh, we're still at war with you, you just don't have the, uh, the stuff. Okay, I misunderstood. I misunderstood. Um, fair enough. I was thinking we, uh, when it flipped, that meant that she lost, um, suzerainty. Alright, maybe she's gonna kill that, that's fine. We really need to get something that's going to give us an envoy. Flip that back. Blown up my cell phone. One man's magic, the four building blocks of the. Alright, we're never going to get the iron mine, so we'll just come up here to get machinery. Ugh. It's weird because I've lost all desire to play this because it just, everything's just going wrong. Again, what is it about Khmer? Everything just goes wrong.
Yeah, I mean, I'll peace you out because I don't want to be in the war with you anyway. Until I can get stuff to come beat you up. The Lord made us all out of Now nah, I'm going to get the iron mine. Like literally a turn later. Of course I am. Dark Age. Now we get the next envoy, too. It would have flipped Chinkwitty for us. <sighs> Two points isn't going to help us on really much of any of this, is it? I mean, it can get us a little bit of faith, I guess. If we have to start getting temples down. This is what these are, right? Yeah. All right, we'll grab the, the faith, then. Uh, I'll grab it from Chinguity just to annoy her a little bit. If it's not oh, just guess what? A drought. Because that makes no sense. I have, I, what, what is it about this area That it's inviting a drought over and over and over. I don't understand. I've never seen a drought persist in a single location this much. I just, uh, I do not understand that. Unfortunately, that's two of our archers. Alrighty, let's go ahead and actually get you up to Connoisseur as well, just to get some more culture coming too. I want to move you over to this other city, actually. No, I mean, our capital's still our highest at the moment. Go away. Like, seriously, go away. I hate you so much. <laughs> there is nothing but a plank. I love that, like, when they spawned us on this little island, they put me here, nowhere to go. They put her, her here, plenty of places to go. Yeah, she did go south, which is great. They could have just put her down here, you know, or something. I don't know. Give us more space to, to before we meet, you know, something like that. There is no easy way to trade. There's our Domries, at least. Still within range of, of her being able to get killed by them, I think. And she has, like, no military right now, so... If we can get a few of them up, that would be pretty huge. Need some frontline units to go with them, though. With the advance of feudalism... Ah, uh, we do have a man-at-arms. Okay, that's fair. We still do want to get this uh, iron mine set up then. All right, one more turn. We can buy us a builder.
to another thing over there. Wow. Alrighty. Um, my meeting houses are production. That's nice. Industrial zones are obviously good. You know, at some point. More commercial hubs always good. Speaking of commercial hubs, let's get us a trader. Can we build uh, Aquabex yet? Yeah, of course we can. No, I'm not going to give you iron, my dear. No, thank you. In peace, one is despoiled by mercenaries. I mean, I don't think we have to be in a hurry to sell this last city up here. So, probably going to ignore it for right now. Or at least gets another ally for whatever that's worth. Why not? Um, and then what was it we were going to do? We were going to do a thing and I don't remember now. <laughs> Hello there, sir. Oh, I didn't see you pop in there. Everybody's showing up. I don't know where this barbarian camp is coming from. It's got to be over here. We don't have a lumber mill yet. Could put one down. Although that's not really where I want to put one. I'm actually going to put one over here, I think. I mean, okay, industrial zones, and we probably do want one at some point. I might just pop one down here. Wow, plus four harbor. Betwixt the stirrup and the In Portugal. Figured it was a matter of time before that thing erupted. Or city's just gonna have trouble all, all the time. I'm gonna bring Liang over here and give her the uh, ability to um, prevent damage and stuff like that. Repair <sighs> that. Uh, 
fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and reassign her now just so she's ready. Well, we got a few friends at least. Is there a discount to producing siege units? I don't think there is, is there? Uh, we are building some harbor districts in a couple places. Five percent more science and culture. Sure, why not? More production everywhere. Uh, we're not doing another settler. Do we want the faith? I mean, if we had a lot of faith coming in, probably the science question mark. Almost ten percent science. Do we have niter? Or industrial zone. Kind of hard to pass that up, even though it does take up a farm slot. City center. All right, so we did get the aqueduct down. So let's finish the stuff that gets us the domries. Oh, we already got that one too. That's how we got the niter. So we can build our domries now. We need some supporting units to go with them, but we can build them. If you see a castle under fog. Probably some pikemen, actually, because she's got knights. More builders, goodness. Strategy requires. Is not we will definitely have to be friends with you, my friend. 
minimize how many bad people we have to worry about. I gotta build it real quick. It's Liang's there. Every man should make his son. There we go. Hopefully that helps a little bit. I think it's just buildings and districts though, right? It's not the one the No oh, improvements as well. Okay, cool. So that should protect us from the droughts, I believe, now. It is the mark of an educated mind. We get like two or three crossbowmen, two or three pikemen, probably four domries. I think we can do something with that. Yep, we should be able to do some good damage with that, I think. I mean, our capital's going to be pretty tough, but the rest of these cities we can we can work on. Uh, can we get an alliance with somebody? Uh, who's the most religious, or not religious, uh, uh, researched? Gilgamesh, of course it is. Of course it is. I should not have even had to ask. Really can't do much to help, can you? You're not you're not that great. Just a traitor, I guess. I saw a bank that said twenty. that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God and he To get our first Domri. Nope. No open doors, my dear.
Oh, we're not friends with you, no. Alrighty, you're good. I mean, you're just going to have to just chill up here and defend whatever stupidity is coming up our way. Now look, I mean, yeah, a city up here could work. We just have to figure out a way to get it there. And defend it. Get Mexico City on our side, or we can get Yerevan on our side. I'm gonna go with Mexico City just because it'll annoy her. We're planning on earning an artist anytime. We're well, not really, right? We're not even going for the I thought I was gonna go for culture victory, but we haven't even really been pushing for that right now. Got a lot of faith for some other stuff though. Wish this was um oh, that's pretty cool. I wish this was a uh like a general instead of an admiral. We're not really doing any industrial zones in a place that would get to get a culture bomb, though. So I don't think that particular guy will do much for us. Did we just get into a heroic age? People can oh my, I was not expecting that. All right, we're just going to have to count on those walls just to be enough for us. We need this crossbowman up to the front lines. I mean, skirmishes can be good, but not really. All right, some crossbowmen. Okay, you can be a yeah, you can be a man at arms. All right, so we got a couple men at arms. Maybe a couple, maybe two pikemen would be enough. Four domries, a couple. Um, all three of those are great for us. I mean, this is the time for us to declare warrior soon. I can shot would be useful as well as uh, musketmen. So let's go ahead and push towards that. Uh, we still want crossbowmen, I think. Ah, uh, she's got her Carolians now. How strong are those? Seventy. Okay, well, I mean, can we take her out? Yeah, but we'd have to wait until, like, um, like artillery at this point, honestly. We'd have to wait until artillery. We're not taking out a 71. Alrighty, well, at least we look strong compared to her, and maybe she won't attack us. So maybe we do pivot back to the culture victory now. All right, how are we going to defend this up? Oh, I forgot you were there. Um, you're going to kind of be out here somewhere, just fortify. Crossbowman, get inside there. Domri, kind of be back behind. You can stay where you're at. Uh, you're going to come up here and just kind of be in the area. All righty, we'll finish what we're doing now, just so we have a little more, like, oomph, but... We're definitely not going to go to war with her against with the, those types of units. It is unfortunate. We lost the race. Not a big surprise. I mean, AI is just very good at the race. Could set a couple units up here to try and deal with that mess. Maybe if we get decide to get another settler here in a bit, we might do that. Oh, 
wonder if she knows how strong she <laughs> that that one unit is. Like, are they aware of like the strength of a single unit? Surely they are. I mean, the only good thing I would say is that our pike men should, because those are cavalry, or I actually don't remember now. Are those cavalry? No, they're not. Actually, I'm sorry. I was thinking they were. Almost got our first 20 pop city. Crazy. We might want to get uh, Magnus out and about with his... Um, Surplus logistics just to kind of pass around to season until they can get to 20 pop. The real use of gunpowder. I mean, are we going to enter great people? I don't think we've earned any great people yet, so <laughs> I doubt it. Well, not until we start rolling with our uh, theater squares, which we are going to start putting some theater squares down here soon, I think. No. I don't really want to help you at all. Rough. Thankfully, the districts themselves were not damaged because of uh, that Liang. Actually got some diplo points for that. And first Hephaestus makes it. Suddenly our Domries are obsolete. Go figure. That did not take long. My goodness, did we just lose it? We just lose a crossbowman? I think we did, didn't we? Alright, fine. You need to get away from there. That's so weird. I mean, so, uh, like, why is this area so. <laughs> like, what is going on? Why are we so. having so many issues with. East type of natural wonder, or natural wonder, uh, natural disaster. Is anything else going to go here? I mean, could a trade route go here just fine? Oh, I, mean, I guess we're going to do farms and stuff if we wanted to. Just another builder. You get bunches of builders everywhere at this point. Not every city is just going to do a round of builder here.
Oh, you're losing. Why are you losing stuff? Weird. Guess we just need some farms there too. Everybody needs a building code. Let's do more builders here as well. All right. Um. I really just need to hook up anything that's getting worked. The lowest is to a lot of faith. Not really anything we can buy with a faith. Well. I guess we can buy great people. Is that the thing for the artist? Uh, we just got a thing for great people. Uh, can we get a merchant? Good. It's a pretty good one, too. In a market economy, however, the individual has... Alright, I think I gotta start putting some theater squares down somewhere. cease from exploration and the end of all our exploring I think we do prefer Russian Republic All right, um, we do, do I not have the thing installed for the, well, that's annoying. I had a uh, mod installed at one point for being able to see the uh, culture victory stuff better, but I'm not seeing it now. Why don't we have any tourism yet? Our thingy jiggers, don't they give it, do they give it to us later? Am I... Jumping the gun on when they give it to us. Oh, once flyers first. Okay, fair enough. So we have, have we we do have no tourism coming in yet. What's it that uh, farms next to Aquarex give us? Two food, okay. It's definitely good, but, you know, at some point we don't need any more because we'll have... Once we get to 20 pop cities, I don't know if I care too much if they get any bigger. And we are getting hit with all the bad stuff.
I mean, I probably could trade away my iron at this point. Don't really need it. Don't know that I want to trade it to her. Horse is okay. I mean, whatever, fine. Just be nice to me. Alrighty, um... You're working these two tiles for whatever reason. What is this? Desert zone, why are you working that tile? Uh oh. oh, okay, never mind. Uh, that makes sense. Go here. Uh, what is that, a hill? I can probably turn that into a mine, I guess. is much more fun. My little, my, my little mod for the tourism stuff only pops up once I start making tour, making tourists. It's probably accurate. Our little Prasad thing with Jiggers, they have relic slots? No. What is it that has relic slots? That's oh, the Prasad. Okay, I was right. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Um, okay, well then it's... Go see if we can find any relics. Very expensive, but probably worth it. Because as soon as we're done with it, they're ours, right? Like we don't have to, not like we have to stress about the cost for too long. Guess we get some more allies. Alrighty, we'll go with all that. We're very low on gold right now, but that's all right. I do need to get trade routes literally everywhere. Oh, you know what you see? These other these elephants, they're bad. Like the tile itself is bad, but we can at least trade them away. There's the tourism thing. Okay, I thought it was going to be somewhere. I was like confused for a bit. Commercial up next to this harbor does give us more gold. Uh, actually, we're going to get our holy site over here. Kind of the whole reason we got bought those tiles next to the river. Oh, nobody wants our elephants.
So we're pretty low, obviously, we expect. But uh, we'll start working towards it. We're going to start, start scaling up now. Really need to get, keep our, get our gold income. Once we get done with these amphitheaters, we might make sure that everybody's got uh, commercial hubs. I do still kind of want to get these last couple cities out. The sooner we get them down, the, the better. Oh, this is you. Um, you don't really have a good place to put a commercial hub compare, you know, relative to the uh, harbor. So we might skip one for you. Holy site, though. Uh, thought about putting holy site there, didn't we? You have to buy up to that tile. Flip this tile, and it's at least two next to two farms. Would be three. You know what? That's probably okay. What gunpowder did for? Uh, yes, but let's go ahead and just get rid of it with the builder. Might as well not waste it. Colonialism. The end for I don't think there's really much else that much. I mean, the Raj could. Well, Raj is actually just better than some of the other things. Raj is just better than that. I still like to keep uh, Triangle Trade, and I think we're going to keep the production just a little bit longer. A couple of our cities are still baby and not quite ready to grow up yet. Chunk of gold, why not? One more great person, apparently. Don't have enough for that. Uh, do we buy all the stuff that we can buy? I mean, not everybody's got the things that are here. They're ready for it, but looks like we have. Um, Like we're going to be in a dark age again? Very much so. Oh my goodness, I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, why are these... Uh, what, what is it about Khmer? Like, I've played tons of games of Civilization VI. Now I don't think I've ever had Civilization aggro as much as people who like to aggro onto Khmer. It's very strange.
She's distracted by Chingawady right now. I love how the barbarians have been ignoring me this entire time, but when she attacks, they come down. It's almost like they're in, in cahoots. One powerful unit down. Alrighty, um... Ooh, yeah, warrior monks. I mean, we're not very strong, but at least we're working through a few things here. Just got to get our income back up so I can start doing upgrades again. No way. Okay, that's fine. I actually wasn't expecting you to be able to move that quickly. Never mind. I didn't see that. Was not paying attention. That was a little bit of a mis misstep. Nobody hates us at the moment, so we might sit on those points so we can flip people back if they do start hating us. I suspect she'll piece me out as soon as uh, the timer's up at this point. It's like, almost like she's, got a, she, she's declaring war on me because she has to, not, not because she actually thinks it's a good idea. Could come in handy with one of our new cities. New and it gets us a third person, so we'll do it.
Five envoys. Um, I mean, getting these up to six doesn't... Well, this gives more faith, I guess. So I'll do that. Stop there. Did you just come home? That was kind of you. You're going to chill until we probably build the city up here, maybe. Dark Age. Hey, we got us a great artist. We're building the thing up there too, so that'll work. Oh, I didn't mean to move you there. Um back over there. You're the one I want to go there. Will you piece me out yet, my dear? All right, so 330 guild for my troubles. Thank you. Um, any mini miny mo? I don't know. Artists, sure. <laughs> Might as well give me some diplo points if I could. Why not? Hey, look, I got diplo points. Oh, look, I got that one, too. Oh, great scientist. Ooh. Starts a war. I'm not really building a wonder anytime soon, I don't think. Try and get these last couple cities out. I'd like to still get the one up north, I think. Opera 
is when a guy gets stabbed in the back and, instead of bleeding... I mean, I'd like to start bumping in the culture. The gold is very important as well. So, let's just double down on the culture stuff for now. now we're technically losing gold now, but we should be getting... Yeah, some of these deals are going to go away here soon. And we might even have some things we can sell here now. Okay, with all that, I think art museum is done. We can start popping that. Let's finish up our settlers. Four envoys. We can get your weapon back. Work on Buenos Aires here. That's pretty cool, actually. That's a really good one. We'll hold off. Well, we're gonna we got a we got a university, don't we? So it's something. Golden culture. That's what we're focusing on now. What happened? Human nature. Hey, Phil Cannon. Uh, Monty help us anywhere? Yeah, she helped with the point of areas here. So let's go for her. Although, I also wanted to get Magnus, I just remembered. Where is our best trade route at? Uh, Bava Pura to Mexico City. And Corton, Mexico City. Okay, so that works. been present at the creation. Uh, 
I mean, it's going to take you forever, but a harbor is what we want. And we can use this guy to finish it once it gets built. All right, so four envoys. Again, we're just going to sit on these for now. We have anything else besides scorched earth? Conservation. If facts don't fit the theme. She might be about to kill a unit with a musketman. So maybe I should hold off on that. Or at least do one turn and then hold off. Uh, do we want art or archaeology over you know, first? Actually, I want the entertainment complex, I believe. Because it'll give these guys a bonus, I believe, right? It's a thing? I think so. I think we've done that before. Let's do alliances, good stuff. Oh, wow, we're actually, we got all our stuff back now. Good, 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 good. Portobello, I mean, we could build this. With our thingamajigger that we got. Our little dude over here. Yeah, why not? Oh. Thankfully, only two people hate us. Actually, tells us when we get our next foreign terrorist and everything. Or terrorist. <laughs> terrorist. <laughs> Tourist. <laughs> same difference, right? I think they're about the same. Oh, goodness. A common mistake that people make. That's a pretty big boost to culture. I want Magnus to go to Prius so we can get that one to 20. Uh, you need, you do need to like figure out, well, not you, sorry. You can kind of go over there. Uh, you need to figure out how to get some food. Oh, you're just so ho housing capped. Uh, we're about to get to finish the aqueduct. That'll help a little bit. Okay, that's fine. We just need to get you to 20 and I don't care anything about that after that. All right. Let's swap off conservation for a moment. Anything else? I mean, we can technically do reform church for whatever it's worth. Because we're about to get a couple of these other things anyway. We'll go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back next weekend, we will uh, do some more of this. I mean, we're we're fine. I mean, we got to figure out how to make sure we're defending against her. But she's the one of only two people who hate us. Um, we still don't know three people in the world. But uh, you know, we're hanging in there. We're actually the lead for the diplomatic victory for whatever that's worth. Yeah, us. Obviously, culture. We're not even close, but. You know, we haven't, we've just begun, really. Science, not super worried about. Uh, religion, no, nope, nothing to worry about. So, yeah. 
we're okay. It's still early. We got enough cities. We're going to be able to get a couple more. Just get everybody to grow. Uh, we got two more 16 pop cities right behind this 18 pop. So we should be able to get to some 20 pop cities. Get a little bit of tourism from that as well soon. Obviously, we got to push for a flight. All the good things. Man, this has been a rough, rough go, but I think we're hanging on. We'll see. <laughs> but I do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, may God bless you. And I do hope you join me next time. My next live stream will be Monday for some Football Manager, followed by Wednesday, Farming Simulator, and again, Civilization 6 on Saturday. So thank you and goodbye.